Hello ladies and gentlemen and welcome to Showcase, a series in which I buy the shit so you don't have to. My name is Inko and tonight I would like to bring to your attention a particular game called Timber and Stone, which is an early access indie city builder game. Yes, that's right. Uh, for those of you that are familiar with this genre, you know how many of these there are out there. Uh, but this one just recently, I believe, got put on Steam in the early access uh, aisle, I guess. If you were to imagine Steam with aisles, this one is on the top shelf of the early access aisle. Anyway, uh, I thought it looked good. I thought it looked fun. So I decided to buy it and check it out. And lo and behold, it's, uh, it's, it's pretty good. I've played about an hour or two of it. And I figured, what the hell, I'll make a video out of it. Um, this game is developed by Games by Robert, comma, LLC. Which is a pretty peculiar name for a game, but I can't really judge because my f fucking name is Incoherence L, which... I don't even know what that means. No one knows what it means. <laughs> Fuck, anyway, you know what? We'll move on. I don't want to get hung up on my name. Not tonight. No, no, I'm in a, I'm in a good mood. I don't want to talk about it. Uh, I would love to go over the options with you, but every time I do whilst recording, it crashes. Uh, but basically, they're very bare bones. There's uh, resolution, shadow quality, view distance, and audio options. Basically, uh, you can go into the controls, but I've basically set it up to be like Dwarf Fortress. So, uh, you can customize that if you were to play it yourself. But I think, you know what, we'll, we'll jump right in. We'll, we'll get a new game going here. Uh, I don't really know what we'll call our settlement. Uh, burr. Burr. As in the stuff that goes on your fur. Well, I mean, not your fur. It, it, if you've got burrs in your fur, like your pubes or whatever, I don't know what to tell you. You need to stop being such a hippie and rolling around in the wild grasses. That's a little odd. Uh, again, though, who am I to judge? I'm just a guy on the internet. If you want to roll around outside in the fucking hills, be my guest. Um, just know that the hills are alive with the sound of music, so it might get loud. Okay, so Burfer is the start of our name, uh, Tun, I think is the perfect end to <laughs> Burferton, okay. That, I don't know, what does that remind me of? Not much, Burferton. Okay, choose our map size, we will go large. Uh, and now the game will take a moment to generate a, uh, a world which is large. And boom, there we go, it's done already. Uh, so already you can kind of see a parallel between this game and Dwarf Fortress, which I'm pretty sure takes some inspiration from. Um, and if you are very eagle-eyed, you will see that there are two buttons in the top left. 2D, which we are currently uh, looking at, and then boom, 3D. Oh shit. This is where this game surpasses Dwarf Fortress. It looks a lot better. Uh, it looks like we've... Um, generated the island from Jurassic Park, whatever the hell that place is called. Uh, which doesn't leave a lot of low grassland for us to build a location. Basically, I want to settle in a flat, dense river area, so maybe something like this? Nope, not at all. That is not at all what I'm looking for. Uh, something like that, that's hills. I don't want to deal with hills. Not at all. Maybe I can just build on the coast, that would be okay. I cannot find any trees, though. I think we need to go a little bit greener. Something like this. Okay, so tre uh, trees are medium. Hi it's hills, and it's a river. Everything is frequent and abundant, apart from sheep, unfortunately. But we have chickens and boars, and that's enough for me. I think this is the perfect spot for Burferton. <laughs> Which is a really stupid name now that I'm looking back. It doesn't really roll off the tongue, like, at all. I could have called it, like, Milk and Honey, the land of Milk and Honey, or New New Cairo, or something like that, but I went with Burferton, which is, if I was from a town called Burferton, I probably would lie that I was about, that, that I was from a town called Burferton, because it, it sounds as if someone sat down on a whoopee cushion, and then took that noise and recorded it. And I don't know where I'm going with this. Whoopee cushions, they do not make a noise like Burferton. They just kind of go... Prrrr. Okay. <laughs> okay, so this apparently is our map. And I'm going to warn you, it's going to begin to lag as we zoom out. And we get the full view of everything. <laughs> oh, shit. Uh, 
This is another thing this game has over Dwarf Fortress. You can actually pick where you want to settle. I think we'll settle right in the, uh, the crook of the river here. There's a lot of stone around for buildings. We have easy access to said river. There's trees to cut down, etc. So we shall settle on the, uh, the flat terrain here. We'll build our wagon. Um, kind of off-center so we can build some houses or whatever. There we go. And now we can start our game. Alright, here we are. This is our wagon with all of our shit on it. There's some, like, food and wood and probably babies or something. I'm not sure. But we've got eight settlers. And they've been randomly assigned professions uh, based on their skills. So we've got Finette here, who is pretty useless. <laughs> she has very little skill. She's a trader and a carpenter and an archer, but not much else. So we'll leave her as a carpenter for now. Finette. We've got Enoch, which is a an absurd name, who is immediately a better carpenter than Finette, which again is also an absurd name. But he's a wood chopper, and we need lumberjacks, so we will leave that as is. Severn Bryce. Now, I don't know why some of these guys have two names and some don't. It's very odd. Okay, we've got this man's an engineer. He's a miner. He's a tailor. He's a carpenter. He's a stonemason. He's a jack of all trades, uh, but we'll keep him as a stonemason. <laughs> he also is a better carpenter than Finette. I've already forgot her name because it's so strange, Finette. Uh, so we leave him as a stonemason, I had said, unless we find someone, uh, unless there is no one else who can be a miner. Now, you may have realized that this has gotten really creepy because there's no music. That's just the game. The music kind of cuts out every once in a while. One of my main complaints with it right now is that the music cuts out unexpectedly and there's not much else you can do. Okay, so we'll get uh, Foster to be the farmer. We've got Hildegard Reinholdt, who must be the leader of the pack. I mean, with that name, like, you're basically a uh, a king with that fucking name. And she is a part-time soldier, but also a farmer. So we'll leave her as a farmer. Foster does not need to be a farmer. He can instead be a stonemason and... Who was it that was the stonemason? Elwood. He too can be part-time infantry, but he doesn't have any other skills, so we, we need to find something else for Foster. Uh, I would make him a blacksmith, but that is kind of down the line, so maybe we'll just keep him as a woodchopper for now. Uh, Hildegard Reinholdt, is <laughs> what a name, is our farmer. Uh, Muadib, our Moroccan... Settler shall be a forager, because they're always handy. Oh, there we go. Percival is going to be a miner. He's going to get big and strong, and he's going to mine. And I think that's uh, all eight people. We've got Finette, our carpenter. Enoch, our woodchopper. Elwood, our stonemason. Uh, Severn Bryce, who is not going to be a miner. Rather, he shall be a carpenter. Who? Fuck. Finette. Damn it. What do we need? Finette, can you please be a herder? Sure, there we go. Get the most useless person to chase chickens around. That would be great. Okay. Uh, we've got Hildegard Reinhold. She is like the heir to the Holy Roman Empire. Now, uh, we're about to unpause the game, and it might hang up. If it does, I'll cut it out. Basically, uh, the game just needs a moment to think and really just let everything go. No, we're good. Look at that. What are the chances? Okay. So first things first, what we need to do is designate some trees to be cut, um, like so, uh, if there is music in the video, it's because I've added it in when there is no music, <laughs> so, uh, I hope you don't mind, anyway, we're gonna chop down these trees, we've got two guys on it, what we need to do as well is, uh, get our miner to start clearing some stone, so I think we can set up a temporary quarry right here, he'll knock out a couple layers here, uh, like I said, I've only played, like, an hour or two of this, so I'm, like, by no means an expert, which is kind of how I like it. I would much prefer all my showcase uh, shows, I guess. Uh, we're just kind of me not knowing what the fuck I'm doing, to a certain degree. But anyway, we've got uh, our Moroccan uh, gatherer, hunter-gatherer. He's going to harvest some wild wheat and gather berries, so we have some food. Elwood, who is a stonemason, is not really doing anything. Uh, Hildegard Reinholdt, not doing anything either. What we need to do, I think, is... Yeah, we need to build a... 
a pen for some livestock. But I think actually first what we should do is put down a farm. Maybe a a corn farm. That would be great. Yeah, we'll get uh, a corn farm. Uh, four by six. 24 plots. That's fine. How many seeds do we have? Zero, apparently. Because our farmer, by the name of Hildegard Reinhardt, is, uh, Reinhold, I should say, is just fucking going nuts, digging up everything. You know what we'll do? We'll also, uh, dig out the foundations for a new home. There we are. This is a, going to be a somewhat small home that we can put a, a farmer in or whatever. Unfortunately, our carpenter as well as our herder, they're all just kind of sitting idle because there's nothing for them to do. Although we do have two, two men, uh, Digging up, I should say, cutting down trees whilst uh, our miner begins to clear out some of the stone. What we ought to do right now, I think, is build a a, uh, a stone stockpile somewhere over here. This can be our stone quarry, I would say. Something like that. Uh, which will allow us to, of course, store stone. Um, right now, all of our resources are stuck in our wagon. And we can already see that... Uh, the wood storage is getting quite full, so we'll have to, uh, grab our wood stockpile as well. We'll have to build, I would say, a wood stockpile like here. And eventually we can build also a workshop. Like a, a timbering bench, which will turn, uh, raw wood into, uh, planks. There we are. We can clear this stump as well. And then once they've... Uh, you know, made some planks. We can also store those planks in our timber pile, which shall go here. There we are. Um, so our farmer is hard at work clearing away some of this dirt here. She's grabbing some seeds, uh, plotting the demise of basically everyone involved because she knows she's the true uh, heir to the throne. And uh, I think what had happened, maybe, is that she was the true heir to the throne, but if she, she was a woman. And, uh, there's certain factions within the kingdom, or the empire, or whatever you want to call it, that, uh, do not want a woman on the throne, like, at, at any cost. So she had to flee her homeland when, when her father died. Um, and now here she is, uh, eking out a living as a farmer. Uh, what I'm doing here is I'm ensuring that we have, uh, all sorts of tools for my people to use when the time comes, but unfortunately to create these tools... I need to build a uh, workshop, like a workbench. Easy peasy. We'll put it right next to the uh, right next to the fucking uh, wagon, just for ease, I suppose. And then maybe our uh, well, let's see, like a, a carpenter will build this thing. Oh, I need a, a stonemason who is Elwood. Elwood is all over it. He's got a sweet beard as well. Holy shit, he slammed that down no problem. Didn't take him any time. <laughs> so we've built a workbench. Um, and now, to build tools, we need, I would think, um, let's see, Elwood, what, oh, come on, Elwood, please, what do you got? Uh, you are a carpenter, a stonemason, what do we need to build tools, is it not, uh, oh, it's a stonemason, well, what the hell? We don't have the, okay, well, that's great. Elwood, why don't you build, <sighs> Elwood, please, build some <laughs> fucking tools, or I should say, what's his nuts? Yeah, no, Elwood. Elwood is our stonemason. He needs to build some fucking tools, and why is he not doing that? I don't know. Or he... Oh my god, he did it already. It didn't take him any time at all. Holy shit, Elwood. You son of a gun. You built all those tools. I, I didn't even see it. I turned away for like two seconds, and he did it. It was nuts. Uh, it's gonna be a while until our miner gets into digging those foundations. What's his name? Percival. Uh, in the meantime, what we can do is... Um build a okay you know what we're gonna do we're gonna dig out just a little bit more so that i can uh build, oh my god the the one thing i'm having issue with is the ui uh just a little bit okay we're gonna build a fence for this farm like so uh so all the critters don't get in that'd be great because the last thing you want in your cornfield are some critters like fucking squirrels and i don't know mice and groundhogs and all sorts of shit you don't want them in there uh, because, I mean, if you get too many groundhogs, then all of a sudden becomes Groundhog Day. And nobody likes a good Groundhog Day. Unless, of course, 
you know, you like the movie with Bill Murray. I mean, most people do. I think most people like Groundhog Day, and if they don't, that's kind of odd. I don't think I've ever met a person who doesn't like Groundhog Day uh, starring and featuring Bill Murray. Okay, Muadib, our <laughs> Moroccan forager, has uh, leveled up, I guess. We're going to clear cut some of these trees here as well, just to get some space for our settlement and get some wood as well, because we have how much wood? 46 logs. That's actually pretty good. Our storage, though, it's not too bad, actually, now that I think about it. We do need to uh, ensure that we have some timber, though, so I'm going to make sure our workers uh, create some planks. And uh, I guess what happens is they put a log here, they hit it with an axe, and then it kind of just turns into a, a plank on this side. You can kind of see it happening. Um, but there we go. Our corp uh, carpenter by the name of Severn Bryce, he's begun cutting up planks, and then finally we will be able to build a timber pile. And once we build a timber pile, um, then I, I guess uh, we'll be laughing. We'll be fucking laughing. Okay, Foster is a woodcutter. Enoch is a woodcutter. But who is the better woodcutter? They're both uh, level two. You know what? We'll get Foster to be a builder because we need someone to smash down some walls when the time comes. Uh, for example, he's going to grab some logs. So put down the, uh, the fence here. And, uh, oh shit, look at that. What's his, oh fuck, here he is. Percival himself is coming to, uh, dig out the foundations for our new home. That's great. Oh, I, I should mention as well, there's a bunch of tutorials on the left here that I've completely ignored. Um, designate a hall, craft basic tools. Yeah, we, we, we should do that. We'll, uh, we'll build a campfire in the middle of the camp. There we are. And then we can designate a hall around it. Uh, a hall is very much like a meeting hall in Dwarf Fortress. This is basically where all your idle workers will go. So we've we've designated a hall, now we can get a visitor. But I think for now, the next thing we ought to do is probably craft a club, actually. We need some weapons. Um, and this is very easy to build. It just We just need some wood, which we do have. So we'll build a club for our part-time soldiers when the time comes. But man, it is the first night... The first night of Burferton, and we're already off to a fucking rip roaring start. Uh, we've got a fire. We've got a small, a small farm going. Um, this bitch is whining about a feeding trough for our livestock, which we don't have any. We absolutely do not have any livestock, so I don't know what her. Oh shit! I don't know what her problem is. Not at all. Okay. Uh, I think our next step is to uh, actually lay the foundation and the flooring in our house, and then we can begin to build it up and stuff like that. But I think we uh, we actually need some... No, we have quite a bit of stone. So what we'll do is build a field stone wall. Uh, is that enough room, I wonder? Let's see. Design, objects, doors, timber door. It is just enough room, actually. Look at that. What are the chances? Okay. We'll, no, we'll construct some walls, some fieldstone walls. There we go. This uh, will lay the foundation to the house, and then we can begin to uh, do the flooring as well. And I think for flooring, we want uh, flat stone? Sure. Uh, we're going to have a huge amount of stone as a building material, um, so that's basically what I'm going to use to... Uh, to build my first few buildings. Wood is really hard to come by, I find. Um, you can cut down as many trees as you want, but uh, your uh, your lumberjacks are just really fucking slow, I find. Uh, way slower than your, your miners are, anyway. But there we go. What's his nuts? Uh, Foster is uh, putting down some floors. He's a master tile layer, I suppose. He's putting in the foundation, and he's kind of run into... Uh, a bit of a, a bit of a roadblock because Percival has yet to mine out the remaining uh, bit of basement, so uh, I, that's unfortunate. Although, uh, oh, hold on, one, two, three. Oh, I fucked it up. Oh no, I fucked it up. <laughs> I want this to be uh, field stone walls, and then the flooring will be the rest of it. There we go. That's fine. Okay, well. 
this wouldn't uh, this wouldn't happen if Percival kind of got off his ass. I mean, he is busy mining all day over in this uh, outcropping, but we need him to do is to uh, dig the foundations. That would be great. <laughs> Once he finishes digging the foundations, then we can slam down a house, no problem. I think what we should do, though, is build up this fence a little bit. We'll get a nice yard for uh, our farmer, uh, Hildegard Reinholdt. I think it's quite fitting that Hildegard Reinholdt, the uh, the fallen princess of the unnamed generic fantasy kingdom, <laughs> is the one to have the first house, which by all means is like uh, a palace to these simple folk out in the middle of the wilderness uh, in Burferton. They just look at a, a, a house like this and they say, man, one day I'll have a house like that. And I'll pay all the uh, the property tax because I'll be a rich bitch. It'll be loads of fun. But there we go. We're starting to throw down some floors. Uh, Foster is now a level 2 builder, so maybe he'll speed it up a little bit. He's got to pick up the pace. I wasn't going to say anything, but man, Foster. Oh, shit. <laughs> you're, really, uh, you're really keeping me down, you know that? Okay, where is uh, our Moroccan forager? Here he is. He's picking some wheat. Muadib, that is his name. He's got, oh my god, so much stuff. He's got a huge amount of wheat. Uh, wheat seeds and food. Uh, wheat itself is very important for uh, livestock because we use uh, wheat to feed said livestock. So I think what we'll do is we will also build a little fence that will come out by uh, Hildegard's house, like so. And then we should build a hay pile, I think. A wheat hay pile. There we are. We're going to have to extend that fence just a little bit more. There we are. And then we can build a livestock pen right next to that. Uh, we're going to need a... Not that. We're going to need an object, a door, a fence gate. And it's going to open outward. There we are. Boom. This is the, the beginnings of our livestock pen. We've got a bit of a farm going. How much wood do we have? Quite a bit. 32 logs. Although I should say that uh, each fence post is two logs itself, so uh, it's very easy to run out of aforementioned logs. But man, Hildegard Reinholdt has reaped the uh, the first the first of many harvests, I would say. And now it appears that she is uh, planting some seeds. Did we get any more corn seeds? I can't quite I can't tell you right now. I don't know. I absolutely do not know. But where is Percival? Percival. Hello, my friend. Are you dropping off stone? He has done. He's dropped off a bunch of stone. Uh, can we deconstruct this yet? It is the last of its storage type. Build food crates. Okay. We need to build some storage for food, uh, which we will get to in a minute. In the meantime, we need... There we go. Percival is going to finish the uh, the foundation of this, uh, this house, Hildegard's house. There we go. We can build that wall, and then we can finish off the wall with yet another layer of field stone that would be great uh, eventually we can build like castle bricks and stuff like that timbered brick which looks like that I don't know why the hell you'd want that but anyway uh, plaster full timber etc etc you can do all this stuff if you want um, but I find that stone is much easier to come across as I've mentioned before so we'll just uh, I'm very content to build the uh, large majority of my first few houses in uh, stone. Namely, field stone and flat stone, etc. I think what we need, though, is a door, a fucking timber door. Boom! There is our very first door, and then we can begin to uh, build up the rest of the wall here. I don't know, how much stone do we have? 100 stone, okay. It costs 4 stone per. <laughs> Per block of wall, so that we're it, oh man, it's gonna be a lot of stone, that's for sure. That's just fine though. Uh, this is a really small house now that I look at it. It's just like a hall. <laughs> oh man, it's okay. You know what we're gonna do? We're gonna uh, cancel all of these, uh, all of these uh, constructions in the back here, and we'll extend the house. I think by two squares. There we go. Uh, and that should allow Hildegard Reinholdt to stretch her legs and truly lord it over the rest of the settlers in Burferton that she is uh, 
most definitely uh, the queen of the fucking castle. Okay, Muadib is coming back. He's... Oh my god, look at this. All this wheat he's throwing into this hay pile. Boop, 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 boop. <laughs> I fucking love that. They unload their inventory. And they just do the most ridiculous hand motion. It's great. Uh, although, I think it is time that we extend our uh, livestock pen a little bit. Uh, something like this, I think. Uh, yes. That shall be good. And then we can build... A workshop, a feeding trough, there we are. We'll build a feeding trough here, and we can designate this a livestock pen. Boom. So now, uh, when we actually domesticate some animals, we can uh, begin to... Okay, there goes Percival. Holy shit. We can actually begin to uh, get some herds going. So, Finette, the most useless person in our camp right now, is uh, our herder. So I think we need to get her to domesticate some animals. Who should we... Who and what should we domesticate? Okay, you know what? A re oh shit, look at this. There's just a million chickens over here. Okay, domesticate these a animals, please. Finette, grab these chickens. Uh, domesticate them. Take their eggs. Uh, smash them into an omelette. Oh shit, we've also got a boar here. Let's do that. Okay, so we can get a boar and some chickens and we'll put them in our livestock pen. It'll be loads of fun. Uh, I think in the meantime, what we need to do is, uh, mine out all of this stone here, like so. Uh, that'll keep, uh, what's-his-nuts busy, Percival. Uh, when he's not digging the foundations of our next house, he can, of course, dig out all of this stone so we can build the aforementioned houses. That would be great. Okay, there he goes. He's on it like fucking white on rice. You gotta give it to Percival. He usually is, uh... Although he didn't... I, I forgot to designate this. He's usually uh, on the ball with this kind of shit. It's nuts. He's just on it all the goddamn time. Restless as well. <laughs> yeah, I find you don't actually need to... Uh, to re No, that's not at all what I wanted to do. You don't really have to uh, allow your settlers to uh, to rest at all. It's great. They can just work till, uh, till they're dead, basically. Uh, and you don't have to worry about it. You can just keep on placing flat stone floors, like so. And then, uh, who's this again? Foster. Foster, yes, will throw down the floors. He's like, I haven't slept in two days. Uh, and you know what? The, re the reason for this is because to build a bed, we need uh, some animal hides. And we actually have some animal hides, surprisingly. I thought we wouldn't, but we have some, so we'll have to place uh, a bed in here for uh, Hildegard. Oh shit, fucking... Oh my god, Finette just came out of nowhere with a chicken. She rocketed her way into uh, into dominance with that, that chicken there. Um, I think what we'll do as well, uh, we can build a food crate, I think. Uh, yes, we'll build a food crate right next to this hay pile. It seems fitting. That will take some timber, and that will allow us to store food here. And then maybe we can deconstruct this wagon eventually. I don't know. Uh, it is becoming night, or it is night, so we'll light our fire yet again. Man, Hildegard Reinhold raking it in. She's just fucking swimming in it. She too is a hard worker, you know that? She's been hoeing away uh, for days. Days on end. Uh, okay, let's see. We need to equip a club. So I think what we need to do is find our part-time infantryman. It's not Foster. It's not... Um, is it Elwood? Yes, Elwood is our part-time uh, soldier. So what we need to do is tell him to always keep a club in his inventory. There we go. So when the time comes, we can levy him into service and he'll have a club on hand. Uh, which then he can use to, obviously, uh, smash some some uh, goblins to death with, I guess. Okay, uh, Severin Bryce is also a really good carpenter. <laughs> I don't know what he's built to uh, ensure his skills have risen, but he's done it regardless. I don't know. Uh, Enoch is finding himself out of work because he's cleared away a bunch of trees. We've got 30 logs. I think what we need to do is, uh, replace the trees we've, we've, uh, taken out. Is it decor? Yeah, tree. Okay, we've got one sapling, so we'll put a sapling up here. Maybe this can be like our forestry reserve, I don't know. But anyway, there goes, uh, our good friend. And he's gonna plant the tree in this little patch of dirt. And then he'll cut it down later. Enoch, what a name. I can't remember that name for whatever reason. Okay, 
Muad'Dib is a level 5 forger. As one day he won't have to forge so much. He can come back to the camp. Uh, but it is not this day. He's forever uh, going to be a forger. Uh, for as long as I am in power, it seems. Maybe once we become a little more civilized, he'll uh, return to to the camp. But I think for now, he's been voted off the island. So I don't think anyone really wants to talk to him, to be honest. Uh, okay, you know what we need to do? We need to uh, get rid of this fucking hall. No, the hall. How do we... Okay, let's see. Can we undie... Oh my god, what have I done? Uh, <laughs> I think we can only have one hall, so you know what? If I designate this square, like so. There, oh, I've done it. Holy shit. I've, uh, I've navigated my way through what is uh, arguably a very confusing UI as, I, as I'm trying to build this gate. Okay, there we go. We've built this gate. And now we've built a nice little yard for uh, Hildegard Reinholdt there. I think what we need to do, though, is uh, build a bit of scaffolding. So we'll go utility scaffolding. And this will allow uh, Foster, I think, to begin to build up these walls, maybe? Hopefully. It takes a lot of stone to fucking build a house, I tell you that. A lot of stone. Maybe uh, maybe timber is a really good use of, of raw wood, though. I don't know. Let's see. Process materials. Timber. We've got 20. Maybe we want, like, 64, perhaps? Uh, we don't have any raw wood, though. That's the problem. See, here's the thing. The trees are already beginning to be pushed away from our camp. Uh, so we might run out of trees before anything else. Okay. There we go. Uh, I think the uh, the next order of business is to build a blacksmith so that we may obviously smith some uh, steel or whatever and I think we'll place it right next to this I think this uh, this timber situation is gonna move pretty soon once we set up like a forestry reserve or whatever uh, but for now we'll dig the foundation of a blacksmith we want one big open space and then the door can be like right here boom or no it has to be like right there there we go we have enough room for the door. Maybe this is a little bit too big. No. No, no. Okay, so that leaves us with an interior space. Like so. Okay, great. Percival, man, like I said, he's all over it. He's all over, well, he's all over that building, and yet this building remains untouched. He is still, he is yet to uh, dig out this floor so that we may uh, repair the issues we've created. That's just fine. Man, what is it, day three? The beginning of day three, and uh, not much progress has been made. Muad'Dib is still out into the fucking wilderness. Finette, useless as always. Uh, see, we could use her to, like, kill and butcher the animals, but she needs a knife. She needs a knife to butcher animals, and to build a knife, you need uh, ingots, and a blacksmith, and a forge, and all that shit. So, I think, technically, these creatures are pretty useless. I think the only use for them is to like slaughter them. Not entirely sure. Okay, we need a metal storage which will obviously go inside the uh, inside the blacksmith, which is great. Uh, okay, it appears that uh, man, we've got a lot of dirt too. <laughs> Holy shit. Uh, I don't know what to do with dirt other than place terrain. That's, that's something that you can do in this game as well, is place terrain, which is very nice. You can uh, do a bit of terraforming. Just a bit. Uh, we could always extend this field as well, if need be. We still don't have any new corn seeds, unfortunately. Does Muad'Dib have some, uh, some wheat seeds or something like that? Let's see. Muad'Dib? Two wheat seeds, a lot of wheat, and some food. How much food do we have? Very little food. Oh, shit. I think we need a... We need a supplementary source of food. We've got one little corn farm. We've got a forger on the ball. If we could get, like, a fisherman, that would be great. Uh, I don't think that's in the cards right now, though. Unless we get, like, Finette to uh, become a fisherman, though. Let's see. Who has the skills... I think maybe like Percival. Yeah, Percival is our our premier fisherman. 
Uh, but we don't want him to be, you know, not mining. He, his his main thing is mining. Like, holy shit, look at him go. Man, okay. Uh, we're kind of lagging behind on the stone front. I think we got to let Percival catch up. He's got to get into uh, clearing this stone, maybe a bit over here, uh, before we really, you know, tell him to, like, clear some more foundations. He should... Uh, probably mine some stones so that we can actually finish the buildings we're starting is what I'm saying uh, so this is the last foundation he'll dig for a while you can see as well here that there's like ores and stuff there's like I don't know tin and coal uh, there's some ore over here that he has yet to mine because he needs a certain skill to mine certain ores and I don't know what those skills are quite yet uh, but apparently he doesn't have them <laughs> as far as I know uh, but there we go we've got a little bit more stone so I think we'll uh, we'll set the the, the foundation for uh, the blacksmithy. We'll get the, the walls up, and then we can put some flooring in. I don't know if there's stairs in the game right now. I would very much like to dig basements and stuff, but I don't actually know how to build stairs. Is it walls? Like you can? Okay, I see. You can build stairs out of certain materials. Look at that. How e how easy was that to figure out, man? Uh, apparently we can't build stairs out of much, though. Uh, flooring, flat stone stairs, no. Is it... <laughs> what is it? Oh, this is really interesting as well. I, f I find it very interesting that you can actually build roofs on houses. Like thatched roofs and stuff, that's really cool. <laughs> we might actually need a thatcher. We might need a Thatcher. What we need, though, right now is someone who's fluent in stairs. Uh, because I'm not that guy. I don't know how to build stairs at all. And I don't know what any of this means either. These, like, this is a pillar. This is a block. I don't know. I Honestly, I don't know. Uh, I really thought I'd be able to build stairs out of timber. Objects? Is it... Uh, furniture, wooden chair, bed, blanket of bed, comfortable bed. Uh, have we? No, we still have not. We still haven't dug out that uh, that mistake in Hildegard's house, and she's quite upset about it. I can tell. Look at that. Look at the way she vigorously hoes. You can tell that she's very upset. Uh, work? No. Why would stairs be in workshops? I don't know. Doors, furniture. Where the fuck are the stairs? <laughs> oh, anyway, we're gonna build a door for the blacksmithy. Uh, for the hell of it. Siegecraft. <laughs> Our stairs siegecraft? I wouldn't really say so. No, no. Uh, Q. I don't know what the hell Q is. It's empty. Great. <laughs> Foster, please build me some stairs. Move over here and build some stairs. My god. Uh. Like I said, I don't know if stairs are in the game, but I've seen them in videos, so there has to be a way. Castle Brick. Ruins. No. Fieldstone, no. Can we build like a fieldstone column? That'd be sweet. I, I, I don't know. Maybe like terrain. Sandstone. Can we build stone stairs? A stone slope? We can build a stone slope, though. That's no, that's not what I want to do at all. We've looked at flooring already. Man, I am... I am dumbfounded. How the fuck... Do we build stairs? Oh, I think timber is really... Yeah, timber is pretty, uh, pretty good. I think it's like one wood equals four timber or something. It's a lot better than stone, actually. So you know what? We'll uh, we'll lay the floor of this smithy. Well, no, the floor for the smithy should be stone, uh, because you know you don't want the place catching on fire. Uh, in reality, the entire construction of this smithy should be in stone. Uh, although we could build the floor of the the uh, the farmer's hut in wood, that would be a much better idea. There we go. We shall do. Boom. Uh, we will 
Oh, we will continue to build up these walls in field stone, though. I hope you guys don't mind my particular nature. Uh, I just want things to be just so. There's no harm. I mean, Percival keeps very busy uh, digging up all this stone. And look at this. He's, uh, he's already fucked this up. We can't actually dig uh, this stuff up because he's... Uh, kind of created a little uh, a little gap, so we're going to have to build a bridge just to dig out that stone. That's nuts. We're not going to bother. Okay, um, what we need to do as well is get roads. If we build a road to the edge of the map, then that will allow us to get, like, visitors and stuff. And when we get visitors and stuff, uh, we get more settlers. And when we get more settlers, etc., etc., you know the fucking drill. You've probably played Dwarf Fortress, and if you haven't, you're missing out. If you haven't played Dwarf Fortress, you've probably played a Dwarf Fortress-like. Again, if you haven't, you're probably missing out. Uh, but all of that experience I have with those games does not let... It doesn't lend me to... I just... I don't know how to build stairs at all. Can I, like, go up uh, a, a depth layer? No, it doesn't really... It doesn't happen. I can see it right there. There's, it's the button for stairs is right there, and I can't do it. I don't know what the deal. I don't know what the deal is. I guess my dreams of basements and multi-leveled houses is out for this video anyway. I'm probably gonna go and research it, just because that's gonna drive me up the fucking wall. Okay. Uh, do we want a stone forge or? Yeah, we want a stone forge. So we'll build this. What the fuck is this? <laughs> it's like a well. Absurd. Okay, so what does the anvil look like? Oh, it's just okay. Okay, we'll build the stone for stone forge right in the middle of the uh, the shop, and we'll put the anvil right in the corner. There we are. Lots of room for our friend to work. How about storage? Uh, do we have much room for storage? Metal. A minecart. What the fuck? Uh. It appears that all we can build right now is a minecart. Which is really absurd. I don't think I want to do that. Uh, so maybe we can uh, begin smithing some some steel or whatever the hell. Uh, we have two, three copper ore, two t uh, iron ore, six tin ore. So I guess we can smith bronze maybe. Iron, silver, gold, mithril. Man, it reminds me of RuneScape. <laughs> That's great. Okay, we've got oh, my, just a shit ton of wheat. And nothing to do with it. Um, what do we need? We need stone to build our stone forge. Percival will soon provide. Because he's got 36 stone in his inventory. Here he goes. He's going to mine some of this and then obviously return to the stockpile. Then we can use that stone to uh, finish the blacksmith. Man, Hildegard has really uh, built up this farm here. Like It started out with like four squares of corn and now it's just fully fledged. We've just got corn coming out of our yin-yang. Well, no, we've got no food at all. So my people are probably going to starve. But at the very least, we can... Uh... Oh, shit, we've got a bunch of coal as well. Man. How do we build tongs? We're going to need tongs, really? Tools. Stone tongs? <laughs> We're going to make tongs out of stone? Okay, sure, why not? We're going to make tongs out of stone. We're going to use them. And we are going to use some coal. Oh shit, there we go. We've just done it. We've just fucking lit our fucking, uh, our forge and it's gonna burn and we need a blacksmith. Who was our blacksmith? Uh, I thought we had someone who was really good at, like, smithing and then I just kind of said, ah, we're not gonna need him right now. It wasn't Finette, was it? No, of course not. I think it was probably Muadib. Muadib. Or Percival as well. Percival is apparently a really good blacksmith. How about Foster? Foster, please. You son of a bitch, stop stop moving. Oh shit, Foster is a hell of a blacksmith. Please, do a bit of smithing, would you please? Okay. Eventually we can uh, get our very own... Uh, I see what I need to do. We can get our very own builder, dedicated builder. But for now, we'll get... Uh, oh, I see. We can make a copper ingot. We can make an iron ingot. What the hell do we use tin for. Oh, I see. Standard. Okay, there we go. Okay, we'll make some standard ingots for now. 
we'll maintain in storage four or five. There we go. And once he uh, smiths those, we can make a, an ingot pile. That would be fine. And uh, once we make an ingot pile, then we have metal storage. And maybe when we have metal storage, we can deconstruct our... Oh shit, look at that. We can just tuck it in the corner. Nice. Uh, we can deconstruct our wagon. I guess uh, that's all of the all of the ore we have. Right, we've got one ingot. May oh, you know what we can do? We can make a knife. We definitely need a knife, a knife, so that uh, Finette can slaughter some of these chickens. That would be great. Here goes Foster. He <laughs> just vaults over the wall like a fucking son of a bitch. It's great. He vaults over the wall, jumps to it, and now he's hammering out a knife for Finette so that she may slaughter a chicken. Actually, no. We'll keep the chicken and we'll slaughter the boar. Boom. Finette, grab your knife and get to it. Woohoo! Oh, shit! <laughs> One fucking hit, too. Boar has died. Hold on. Let's, let's pause it. Finette, what do you got? What did we get? Okay, I can't actually tell. Raw materials, we have three food, we have one animal hide, two animal fur, some fat as well. Which might be useful, I guess, I don't know. I don't fucking know. Uh, maybe, no, we definitely need a, a corn farm for the food because we may starve otherwise. In the meantime, we can construct a floor. Uh, timber tiles, gross. <laughs> timber planks, not bad, oh. Flooring, timber floor. No, we'll go for planks. Timber planks, okay. Uh, I'm really hoping that timber is an efficient uh, building material. Because, I honestly, I did not really do the math. All, oh man, our tool storage is nearly full as well. I think uh, we can get Foster back. Wherever the hell he went, we'll get him back so that he can begin to build again. Yeah, you don't have the material. So you know what? Become a builder. Uh, man, fucking Foster is... is a master of all trades. It's nuts. He's just, like, so good at all sorts of stuff. It's great. Uh, he definitely needs to finish these walls, though. I think we'll go one level higher. Uh, like... What the fuck? Who are you and why are... Enoch, that's right. Enoch, our... Uh, lumberjack, our woodsman is uh, just chilling on top of uh, Hildebrand's house. He's checking it out, maybe taking a massive dump in the corner because he's beginning to resent the uh, the queen bee of, of the colony. We may need to uh, upgrade our scaffolding a little bit, just one level higher. There we are. I don't really know how big you need to build your scaffolding. I don't know at all. Can we deconstruct this yet? No, we still need one more ingot before we can build our storage, uh, so we'll dig it out. Thank you, Percival. Just target the ores for me, would ya? Uh, likewise, over here, do the same. That would be wunderbar. Although there are no ores in this pile here. There's no ores in this outcropping. I think once we start uh, really digging this out, quarry style, we'll get down into some ores and stuff. Oh shit, there's one right there, look at that. <laughs> Eagle Eye. Uh, yeah, we we might, uh, we'll do one more level over here. Just level it off a little bit, and then we can just begin to dig down into the ground. We'll do like an open pit stone quarry kind of thing. Because I don't know about actually digging down into like a mine. I don't know if that's possible. It could be, but I'm not entirely sure. Holy shit, here comes Foster. Here comes Foster building a floor. A couple planks at a time. He's the master of the settlement. Uh, I think actually Foster, he has to be the mayor of this settlement because, I mean, shit, look at all the stuff he's doing. He's like just, again, I gotta say, he's a jack of all trades. It's nuts. Uh, Do you want to keep Enoch busy? I think so. So we'll get him to remove some trees, maybe a little farther out, like so. We'll just chop the mature trees. Uh, Okay, there we go. Uh, fuck. Uh, I keep missing this one tree. Okay. I, th I thought... Oh, shit. Another fucking chicken. Boom. Domesticate. Please. Go over there. Domesticate it. Please. I mean, we, we gotta keep Finette busy somehow. 
Uh, I don't know. Anyway, I suppose I should show you guys the depth feature in this. You can actually uh, go up and down in depth. So, uh, like you can see up on the top left, depth of 40. And as I go down, layers will start to cut away. There we are. We can't actually see what's in the layers because obviously they haven't been uncovered yet. But you can kind of see... Oh man, this is actually a really good way to uh, find animals as well. Fuck. Holy shit. Yeah, look how many chickens there are. Domesticate all these motherfucking chickens. There we go. Domesticate. Domesticate. <laughs> domesticate. We'll keep uh, Finette busy. We'll get some boars. Yep. Can we breed boars yet? I don't know. I don't know if that's even in the game. Man, ugh, it's been four days and like an hour. <laughs> and we've built the basically the foundations of two houses and that's it. Or, well, this is a blacksmith. It's not even a house. Uh, if I knew how to build stairs, though, I would definitely make this, like, a two-tiered, uh, tiered house so that Foster could, like, live up above the blacksmith. Although, that doesn't really seem like a good idea because there's no chimney in this building, so all the smoke is just gonna rise into his bedroom, and eventually it's just gonna smoke him out. <laughs> uh, oh shit, here comes Muadib. Hello, my friend. You've got, oh my god, so much wheat and very little food. How useless. Okay, Muadib, stop with the wheat. We don't need wheat, we need food. Desperately, we need food. Uh, yeah, we've got a lot of fucking dirt as well. Shit. Uh, can we make, like, bricks? I think we can make bricks. Ingots, wheels, bandages. Raw materials. No, it would be a processed material. Brick. Oh, there it is. Okay, so that requires some stone and dirt. Uh, a workbench and forge. Luckily, we have a workbench and forge. So our mason can begin to uh, build like 60 of those. Eventually, we'll build a uh, stone stockpile, I think. Like a, a, a cut stone stockpile. No, it doesn't really appear that there is one. We do need a tool chest, though. Uh, we can place that just outside of this uh, blacksmith. Why not? I need a hammer to build a tool chest. Shit. Do we not have any hammers? I thought I had... S okay, well. Someone has yet to build a hammer. Uh, who is who is this now? It's Elwood. Elwood is beginning to uh, make some bricks, which is just dandy. Okay, there we go. Foster has... Oh, shit. A wolf. Say it ain't so, Muadib. <laughs> Run, my friend. You don't need to be near this wolf, like, at all. So, okay, Muadib, please. How in the fuck did you... Muadib, you son of a bitch. How did you cross the river? I don't understand. How did you cross the river? Anyway, please, return to base. Muadib, you don't need to be out and about. Uh, getting killed by wolves. Oh, there's a goblin as well. Spotted by Finette. Oh my god, it's right next to our base! Oh my word! Oh no, it isn't. No, Finette is way the fuck out here. <laughs> That's okay. Uh, we don't have to worry about uh, a goblin for the time being. Or a boar. Or, sorry, a, a fucking wolf. We don't need to worry about... Uh, oh shit, no, Finette is locked in mortal combat with this... Uh, this goblin, and we kind of went to a nether realm there for a second, and holy shit, Finel, uh, Finette just didn't give a fuck. She just killed that goblin immediately. That was nuts. Uh, okay, we've got a tool chest now. Can we deconstruct this thing? We need, ugh, we still need ingots for our metal stockpile. Have we not, uh, oh my, I keep zooming. What is going on? I, I don't know what's going on. I'm zoom. Somehow I'm zooming to, like, below ground level. It's crazy. Okay. Uh, Foster. Uh, man, the game is beginning to lag a little bit as well. Right off the bat. You know what we need to do? We need to get Foster, uh, to become a blacksmith for a little bit. So that he may make some ingots. That would be great. And then we can build that ingot stockpile and deconstruct a spider. What the f- Oh, it's just tiny, Muadib. What are you wor- what, what the fuck? What are you worrying about? It's just small. Look at it. Are you gonna- Are you gonna- I am too weak! Oh, really? Oh my god, Muadib, run! <laughs> ha! 
It's a- No! Muadib, our Moroccan forager, is being chased by both a spider and a wolf. Who- Oh, Jesus Christ. Who appear to be, uh, working together. It's a wolf pack, is what it is. Oh my god. Uh, Muadib is gonna try to outrun these assholes as best he can. And maybe swim across the river? Or is he just gonna, like, walk along the river bottom? Like the son of a bitch he is. Okay, Percival. Where are you, my friend? Are you our uh, part-time soldier, or is it Severn Bryce? No, I, I can't remember who it is. I know Percival is uh, definitely an inf infantry guy. Uh, so we will get him to maintain a club. There we are. And now he shall uh, don his armor and his club. And uh, hopefully he can help Muadib out, who is running for his life, away from both a fucking wolf and a spider. Oh shit, yeah, he just fucking swims. What a son of a bitch. Holy shit, look at him go, too. He's, like, completely nuts. Okay. So, Percival, wherever you are, you... Oh, man, <laughs> Finette is not doing so hot. Oh, shit, you know what we can do? Uh, oh, man, this wolf is coming in for the kill. Uh, we'll just do this very quickly. We'll place down a straw bed, and that will mean that uh, our workers, our settlers, can rest up a little bit because I think that some of them are going to be wounded okay we shall charge this wolf when the time comes boom there it is okay it's out of the water we can charge this enemy uh where's Percival here he is Percival my friend you need to seek charge target enemies there we go now he should if all things go according to plan he should Percival what the fuck man like ugh. you're taking the stupidest route Dude, oh my god, look at all the creatures we've collected. That's nuts. Okay, this wolf has seen a match in Percival, that's for sure. Holy shit, he just killed that wolf in a single blow. My god. Okay, Moody. Uh, we're going to get you to uh, loot the dead and also dispose of the dead. And you will not gather berries. You will, uh, I suppose, dispose of that wolf whilst uh, Percival returns to his mining duties. Holy shit. Okay, well, everyone, this uh, <laughs> this video is getting to be pretty long. We Oh, shit, we've built a metal ingot uh, storage. Can we deconstruct the wagon? No. Oh, my God, we have to build all sorts of shit. Anyway, uh, this video is getting to be quite long in the tooth. So, I should say, everyone, thank you for watching. This has been uh, Stone and Timber, an indie city building early access title. You can find it on Steam. And uh, all that information is below. If you want to see more of this game, leave a comment, leave a like, attesting to that fact, and that can certainly be fucking arranged. So, thank you everyone for watching. I shall see you all with my next showcase.